Hello everyone, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 11 of the Minecraft 1.15 Survival Let's Play. In the last episode, we had a very fun jungle adventure where not only did we get tons of good loot, but we also got a few new friends here. We got some parrot friends and we also got a horse. Where is he at? I don't know. He's somewhere around this village. Um, but in the last episode, I mentioned that I wanted you guys to give me name suggestions in the comments down below, and I'm going to continue doing that just because I mentioned it towards the end of last episode, but I want to give everyone a chance to kind of give suggestions. So if you have any name suggestions for Blue Parrot, Red Parrot, Yellow Parrot, or my horse where, I don't know where he is, let's try to find him, uh, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, anyways, besides that, I have some really awesome... Oh, there's my horse. There's He's just chilling. Uh, <laughs> I have some really awesome things planned for this video. I want to make an enchanting room. I want to enchant some armor, weapons, and tools to level 30. And then with that, I will also show you guys the fastest and most efficient way to get XP in Minecraft that I've found, whether it's early game, late game. The only way that might be slightly more efficient to get XP is if you build some elaborate, ginormous type of farm that involves tons of redstone and is huge and I just think that takes up too much time. So I'm going to show you guys my method to get lots of XP super fast. But before we start all of that, I have a new addition to the big book filled with awesome people. The seventh person and the person uh, left a really nice comment on yesterday's video and that person is Nadia. Miha, and she said, I've never clicked faster. I was excited because I thought you posted yesterday, but it wasn't the survival episode. Frowny face. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for uploading. You make my high school exams so much less stressful when I come home. Much love from El Paso. And I just thought that was really straight, sweet. <laughs> uh, I also love, you know, getting viewers that aren't just from America, like the majority of the people that watch my videos are. So I thought that was really sweet. And also, I can kind of relate to that because currently I'm a senior in high school and I have exams coming up soon and I'm super stressed. <laughs> Not only does that take a lot of time, but I'm also still trying to keep up with YouTube <laughs> uh, and uploading every day and streaming most days. So it's definitely crazy. I can feel the stress. So just keep it up. But anyways, I'm ready to make this enchanting room. I have been collecting sugarcane from this little farm and making paper for books. And also, a few episodes ago, we made this automatic cow crusher farm, which not only has been giving me a good supply of beef, but has also been giving me tons and tons of leather, which I have been using to make bookshelves. And I have 20-something bookshelves now, which is more than enough. Um, the reason I just made more bookshelves than I needed was because I wanted to make a really cool looking design for an enchanting room. So anyways, let me go and gather the materials I need to build this from my storage room and I will be back with you guys once I am ready. Okay, I'm back and while I was gone I also gathered some spruce logs because I was pretty much out. So really fast I'm going to make a crafting table and then we can start building this. So what I'm going to do is start off with kind of a five by five house. So let me figure out how I want to do this. Uh, let's just do one, two, three, four, five. And then I want the inside to be five. So that has to be seven. And then one, two, three, four. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm just bad at placing logs. So I'm going to do this all with logs um, because the design is good. This might be actually not a good place for this. Well, there's enough room in between these houses. It's fine. It'll be okay. So this is going to be the entrance right here. So I'm going to have... Ooh, my axe is almost broken. Uh, I'm going to have a little divot there. But what I'm going to have here is I'm going to have the little entrance area. And then the rest of this will be just logs. And I think I'm going to alternate between stripped logs and actual logs. And I think that'll give a nice design to it. Also, I think, you know what, to save on the logs, I think I'll skip the corners. Uh, plus, I think it'll look better as a design. I don't think I need the corners. I'll try to make this kind of uniquely shaped. I don't just want to... Oh, there goes my axe. Let's go make a new one really fast. Um, <laughs> but I don't just want to make a totally square design. Um, and I'm actually... Not totally uh, copying, but inspiring this build off of an enchanting room design uh, made by my friend Typeface. I'll link him down below. Uh, I've used to actually a build of his before, the greenhouse build. And uh, we're pretty good pals, and I think his builds are good, and he's a fan of my channel, and so it's a win-win. Uh, <laughs> but here, let me try to... There's some iron. Let's make an axe really fast. 
continue making this design. Um, all right, let's head up. I also, you know, let's steal a few of these item frames because I want to use some of these. I'll make more to put in this room anyways. I put the item frames in there with the intention of organizing that chest room. I still haven't gotten to it. I'm sure I will in the future. I'm just not a very organized person. Like, I made a chest room. That's enough of an achievement for me. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever get to actually organizing items. Like, I like to say that I'd like to organize items, but it never happens. I like to just go in my chest room and dump items randomly in a chest. Uh, so maybe in the future, something that would be good to invest in is an automatic item sorter with redstone. Now, I'm pretty crap when it comes to redstone, but I'm sure if I actually took the time and followed, like, probably, like, one of Mumbo Jumbo's tutorials or something, I could probably figure it out eventually. Uh, I don't know. It just depends. I'd have to kind of just kind of play around and see what would be nice. So here we have this, and then what I'm going to do is have this one and be stripped. I'm going to have the corner logs. Get that kind of creamy spruce color. I really like it. All right, there we, there we have that. I think that looks pretty good. And then also, let's plop down some spruce planks so we can get some spruce slabs. And then let me think what I want to do with this. I want to kind of make the outside at least look presentable before I work on the inside. So what I can do, let's actually, just so I can do more with the roof, let's make this all one block higher. And I think if I do that, I should be able to, you know, add a little bit more detail to the roof. And I think it'll look good. Oops. <laughs> I need to bring more supplies with me. Like, I need shears. I need a lot of other stuff. I don't often come prepared for what I'm going to build. <laughs> but we should be okay. All right. Let's strip all the logs we need to get this down. Place a slab there instead. I think that'll look better. And then for the roof, I don't know if I should continue doing these, like, viking style roofs or if i should just do something else but let's do this let's just place down some slabs really fast just to kind of get a roof going it counts as a roof that's that's i don't know that's somewhat a roof <laughs> so besides that let's get working on the ground here so i picked some stone bricks i think i want to use stone bricks i think it will add a nice contrast be a nice floor design I use stone brick a lot, <laughs> but hey, it's my build style. All right, let's plop this down. And then also, what might be better is if around the enchanting table itself, I have some stairs instead of just normal stone brick. So let me just fill it in with stone brick first and then kind of plan out where the enchanting table would be. So enchanting table would be right there. And then if I do this with stairs, I think it'll add... A nice little design wait do I only have four stairs oh I thought I did more than that should I make more or should I just do four actually I kind of like that design with just four I was gonna put stairs in the corner um, but I think that looks good so next what I want to do is place down some bookshelves so let's do this and then place some in these corners and what I'm gonna do is make a few blocks mess around with detailing the inside and see what I can come up with Alright, so I've messed around with some designs, and I will show you what I came up with. The outside it doesn't look like anything crazy. It kind of looks boring. I might add some more detail in the future, like doing some fence work and messing with some stuff. But I came up with what I think is pretty good on the inside. So let me show you guys inside here. I wanted the vibe to be a little more worn down, old, a little dark. Right now it's not too dark in here, um, but if it was nighttime, it'd be a lot darker. I'm also thinking, I'm going to turn down my brightness a little bit. I've seen some Minecraft YouTubers talking about turning down their brightness, actually, because it seems to add a little bit more detail. Uh, but nevertheless, here we go. Um, I inspired it, like I said, a little bit based off Typeface's design. I used a few of the same general things that he was using, but my design is definitely a lot different on the inside than his. Oh! Okay, <laughs> but I have an armor stand here, I have some lapis decorating, I have a sword here kind of pointing at it, uh, and I hid a few things in the room that would be useful. Um, we have redstone torches for light, we have a grindstone over here, uh, I put an ender chest in the corner, I built one, and then I also have a uh, an anvil over here, and under the anvil I just have a barrel. Um, and actually, even though you know the bookshelves seem kind of scattered, if I put in something, you can see that it is level 30. And oh, okay, it looks like we can get silk touch on this. But that's not what I'm here to enchant today. I actually want to enchant my armor and tools. So let's 
we like actually let's put our armor back on but let's go make some diamond tools i won't make a full set i just want to enchant mostly a sword and a pickaxe on um, hopefully we get some pretty good enchantments if they are fail enchantments we can just enchant more and combine them because like i said uh i will show you guys how to get xp really efficiently really easily so let's try to grab some of our stuff really fast I ended up using a lot more resources than I thought. Uh, pretty much all my bookshelves are used because I kept having to break bookshelves and place them in different spots. So I didn't have as many as I originally planned. Uh, but let's see. Here we have my diamonds. I'm going to bring those. And then also, do I have sticks somewhere? Here's a few sticks. All right. That should be good. So let's make our diamond tools really fast. Just a sword and a pickaxe. And then we should still have a lot left. Yeah, for armor. If we want to enchant any more armor... Uh, or if we want to enchant any other tools. I have a few pieces of lapis here. I have 16. That should be enough. I mean, that's enough for a decent amount of enchants. I'll be out of XP soon enough. Uh, but let's head back. I can actually only do, like, three different enchantments to level 30, and then I'll have to go get XP. But it won't be long before I'm level 30 again, because it'll literally take me probably 30 seconds to get back to level 30. <laughs> but here, let's go with Chain, and hopefully we get some good items. I don't know, I'm hoping. I'm going to do a pickaxe first, because... The... Oh, Silk Touch! Oh! 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 <laughs> there we go! Efficiency 4, Silk Touch, and Unbreaking 3. That's crazy. We already got Silk Touch. Well, wait, now I have to... Now I have to make another one and get one without Silk Touch. If I get Fortune 3 on another one, I'd be astonished. But that's crazy, Silk Touch. Because it was going to give us Silk Touch on our shovel. That'd be crazy if we could have full Silk Touch tools already. Uh, but let's make some more sticks really fast. I, I just want to I want to stick with the pickaxes. That was fun. <laughs> but let's see what else we can get. Any Silk Touch this time? No, just on Breaking 3, Efficiency 4. But uh, I'm good with that. What's on the sword? Smite? Should I waste it on smite? I'll do it. It might have something else. Oh, literally just smite four. That's kind of a downer. But, oh no, I'm not level 30. Well, <laughs> let's show you guys how to get XP quickly. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, let's replace that pickaxe. Unbreaking three, efficiency four. We just have to work on getting fortune. Um, but, you know, using this method of getting XP will literally get you perfect armor and gear, minus the mending books, in probably like half an hour if that that's how long it usually takes me but yeah <laughs> some of you have guessed it we're going to the nether and we are quartz mining I, I show it off on stream a lot this is how i get xp oh god my minecraft is really loud for me i gotta turn down my headphones um <laughs> but pretty much right you see we're at level 30 let's get away from all this fire uh if you guys watch the one stream i headed into the nether and there were like six guests surrounding me it was crazy but what we can actually do to get xp fast is as you can see we're level 29, and all you have to do is start mining quartz. Uh, if I'm at level 0 and start mining quartz, it takes probably 15 minutes to get to level 30. Um, but say I'm already at level 30 and chant something, and then I'm back at level 27. It takes me maybe a few minutes to get back to level 30. But yeah, as you can see, we're already level 30. I can go and chant something. It'll take me back to level 27. We can just hop back in the nether, do some more quartz mining. And like I said, this is probably the best method to get XP. Now, there is one, well, two slight downsides to this method. One downside is obviously that your pickaxe durability will be worn down quickly. So I recommend you not doing this unless you have mending on your pickaxe or a lot of diamonds to be enchanting a pickaxe. Um, you know, because it'll wear it down quickly doing all that mining. And I guess the second downside could be that once you do so much quartz mining, you get to a point where I'm at in a few of my other survival worlds where I've mined so many of the quartz near my portal that there's not really many quartz left. You know, I don't have a lot of quartz left to mine, and so I have to travel far away to get quartz. But by the time you get to that point, you should pretty much have all Prot 4, all Unbreaking 3, all Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, and then at that point, I would just work on trying to get mending from your villagers. But let's enchant chest plate here see what we get fire Ooh, unbreaking three thorns two fire protection three i'm not a big fan of thorns because yeah thorns can be kind of cool since it hurts your enemies but thorns actually wears down your armor faster i'm not sure if you knew that but what i can try to do is enchant another chest plate and if i combine the two chest plates since thorn is the last enchantment on there there should be one option of combining the chest plates in a certain order 
where it will get rid of thorns, but instead give me another enchantment. Like, for example, if I enchant another chest plate that has Unbreaking 3 and Protection 3, if I combine them, one option will be the chest plate without fire protection, I believe, and one option will be the chest plate without thorns. So I'll probably do the chest plate without thorns. Again, it's nice sometimes having that because your enemies get hurt just for attacking you, but I don't like that it wears my armor down faster. Maybe if I had mending on my armor, I'd go for it, but personally, I'm just not a big fan. So here we go. I'll show it off again. I'm level 27. I start quartz mining. I find one vein. Almost takes me up a whole level. Just have to find a few more veins and we'll be at level 30. It really doesn't take long at all. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this method works for you. Um... I told you the downsides. I guess another downside would be you can't really use it on servers. I mean, you could, but if there's other people using your nether portal, you're going to be out of courts pretty quickly. Um, but this is also nice because I use this method to get XP, and if you've looked in my chests, I actually have a few stacks of quartz blocks already just from doing a little bit of XP mining. Uh, and so when you do this, you get tons and tons of quartz. So if you're someone that's into building like Greek and Roman builds using quartz, or just using quartz in general, this is a great way to get quartz. So it's been probably, what, like a minute so far? And I'm almost level 30 again. <laughs> so again, it's, it's super quick. I can't even, like, it's kind of overpowered. I don't know why I don't see more people doing this, because it gets you so much XP so fast. If you have a full set of diamond armor and tools and you need to enchant it quickly, do this and your friends will probably be shocked at how you literally just got diamonds and you already had enough XP to enchant all of it. Like, I've done it on SMP servers with my friends and they're kind of confused when it's only a few hours into the server and I already have full prot 4 and efficiency 5. And they're like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> but, yeah, here we go. Level 30, I'm just going to leave that vein half finished. That probably took a minute and a half or two minutes to get from level 27 to 30. Again, if you have a crazy good XP farm or something like that, use that. Don't do quartz mining. But again, if you're someone like me who's not good at redstone or doesn't want to build a giant expensive farm, this is really easy. Plus, you can do it pretty early on in the game. All you have to do is get a diamond pickaxe, head to the nether, and start doing your thing. <laughs> it doesn't really take long. Whereas some of the bigger XP farms, like Phantom Farms, or different things like that, can often take tons and tons of resources to make. And you can't really build them until you're pretty late in the game already. Uh, and then at this point, what I would do is, once you get some pretty good armor and tools, I would just head to the end, defeat the end dragon, uh, and, you know, get all the crazy good XP from that. And then end dragon will give you, like, 60, 70 levels, which you can use to pretty much enchant anything else that isn't already enchanted. And so you'll have XP for days. You never have to worry about XP again. And that's really nice because I know it really sucks when you have good items and then they've just broken so many times and you've repaired them so many times um, that there's not really much use in using them and you have to make new tools and armor. But let's see what we can get on this helmet. Let's check it out. Ooh, on breaking three, prod four. See? Look, it's only been a few minutes and we already have two amazing pickaxes. I mean, we would have had a decent sword if the enchantment didn't suck. We have a good chest plate, good helmet. <laughs> There's no beating this method to get XP. Anyways, guys, that's all for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I've said this pretty much every episode, but I have to say it again. And I want you guys to know sincerely that I mean this. I'm not just saying this, but I truly do appreciate the crazy support on this series. It's insane that I uploaded episode one of this Let's Play like two weeks ago from today. And episode one is like at 170,000 views, which for me, someone that got normally like one to 2,000 views average per video, like it truly does blow me away. That's just insane. That's more success than my first 1.14 survival let's play. And I just, you know, I can't express all the nice comments I'm getting, all the people liking, subscribing. It truly does mean a lot. And it's just crazy. We're coming up here pretty close to 100,000 subscribers. Uh, I mean, at the time of recording this, I'm at 72,000, which, you know, is pretty far from 100K. But a week ago, we were at like 62,000. So we're gaining subscribers like crazy. There was a few days in a row where I was gaining over 1,000 subs a day and, you know, over 100,000 views. And 
I'm not trying to brag when I say those numbers. It's just, it truly is just like mind boggling to me to think of those numbers. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys for watching. If you enjoyed leave a like, subscribe. This is Jay Wisp, and I will see you all in the next one.